Hi guys and welcome to another bootstrap video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. We had a question on one of our bootstrap videos, another good question, how do you change the color, background color of the default bootstrap? They've got a dark background like we've got here and they want to make it red. Well, it really couldn't be much easier. Let's open our text editor. Anybody who doesn't have a text editor, this brackets I'm using is absolutely free and I'll put the link below there. It's a great little text editor. So we've got our page here. Here we've got the head content. Now we've got the body. Just under the body is where the nav bar is. And at the moment we've got the default background dark bootstrap. Now we could get rid of that. If I get rid of that, let's see what happens. It should default to the normal white background. So let's take that out of there. Go back to our site and refresh. As you can see, it's gone back to a normal white background. You can't see the links because it's white on white. Now we can give it our own class if you want. Of Let's call it BG red background red BG red and up here in our style if you've not got this just open some style tags or you may have an external CSS file we can put it here or we can actually put it in line if you wanted to but let's put it here drop down okay we gave that the class of BG red class always has to have a period or a dot in front of it then the name BG red open and close some curly brackets in between the brackets is where we're going to put our code so we want background colon and whatever color you want you can use hex code rgba whatever you want will work but i'll just use plain red let's save our changes and refresh there we go and as you can see we've now got our red background and it really couldn't be easier um, that's the way I would do it. You could overwrite the BG dark class as well if you wanted to. Let's do that. Let's just take it back to where it was. I'll just hitting control Z. There we go. So there's our regular how it was. The other way would be to actually use this class and you'd have to override it. So we'll copy that class. Again, period before it. Whoops. Again, period before it. Paste it in there. Open and close some curlies. Exactly the same as we did last time. Background. Red. And this may or may not work. We may need to add the important after it. So let's save it and see if it's going to work. Yeah. That hasn't overwritten the dark style there. Well, we can do that quite easily by just putting important in front of it. I don't like to use important if I don't have to, but in a case like this, I believe you'd have to, and you want to spell it right because if you don't, it won't work like I have done there. There we go. Let's save that and see if that's going to work this time. There we go. So that's two ways of doing it. I hope that answers your question. And I hope you found that useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.